Welcome to another episode of the Healthcare Marketing Mindset Rehab. I'm Kat Bai, your fractional CMO and healthcare marketing executive. We're going to talk about how to change your marketing mindset so that you can have better outcomes and help you become a better marketing executive. Many times you'll find that organizations want to defer marketing until later. They feel that they can do a few little marketing things here and there that they'll farm out to agencies and the sales will take care of everything. Now, the the challenge with that is that if you are not in a space where there are other competitors, then that's great. You might have the opportunity to just dominate the market, but many times, especially in the healthcare marketing space, you are dealing with a lot of competitors. And I will tell you, those folks are marketing. They have a strategy, they have a plan, and they are consistently executing. So if you're not doing that, you are creating what I call a marketing deficit, which is your, it's get, it's a big ditch. It's a big ditch. And so while everyone is growing, you're sinking when it comes to your brand, your message, your outreach. And then suddenly RFPs start hitting and nobody knows who you are. Number one, maybe you're not getting an RFP invitation. Number two, when you are filling out RFPs, people don't consider you a top player because they've never heard of you. So suddenly you turn around and you said, okay, we need a CMO or a VP of marketing and get this going. So you hire someone and they start to, you know, they create a strategy, they create a plan, and then they get going, but they've got to fill the deficit before they can really start helping you get known. And the deeper that deficit is, the harder it is to fill. Now you could just give them more money and more resources, but then you have to be willing to truly invest in that, in marketing so they can create you know, all the the things that you need them to create in order to help your brand. I mean, in order to start writing content every day to maybe if, if this is part of your strategy, getting on social media to connect at a different level, create Facebook pages to, to connect and, and talk to your clients from that perspective. Maybe you want to engage in advertisements all of these things in order to do them quickly take a lot of time resources and money and if you're not prepared to do that what's going to happen is you're going to turn around to that cmo or vp and say you're not working you're not working fast enough marketing then doesn't work and then you toss them out the the next problem that happens is that your deficit starts to sink down and get deeper again And the next person you bring in is going to have to fill that hole again. So the moral of this particular story is when you're, when when you're building your different departments and your company, you need to include marketing. If you have marketing and it's just a tactical, you know, group where you're just doing some one-off things, you know, Hey, make sure you're doing social media every day, make sure you're creating brochures, but you don't have a, a strategy, a consistent strategy that really is helping those messages coalesce, come together and tell your brand story, you're always going to find yourself on the back of the pack. So even if you haven't been marketing right for a while, invest in marketing and do the work and just expect that it's going to take a little bit of a, a hill. Here's a tip though. If you're starting marketing and you haven't been marketing for a long time, pick one goal, one narrow goal that you want to achieve. Pick one target audience, you know, a sub niche within your niche that you want to connect with. And then focus on that because this way, then you will start to see results faster. If you're trying to do everything all at once, it becomes, it's it's almost an impossible task and it takes longer and then you won't see the results right away and you'll get angry. Focus on a, a narrow goal and say, I want to focus on clients that are buying, that have a contract of 
that are, that's coming up, you know, and uh, I want to upsell whatever. And then you, you create all your uh, marketing efforts or the majority, because you can do, you know, 60% on the clients and maybe a 40% you have it just on a general branding, but then you're really focused on that particular thing and then you'll see results. So right now, I just want you to think about how you're going to prevent that marketing deficit and how you're going to start to dig out any way that you begin is a good start. You know, don't wait any longer. Just keep going forward. You'll be successful. And thanks for joining me for another episode of the Healthcare Marketing Mindset Rehab.